ready to talk about emotional blunting? Confused about why your clients might feel numb or disconnected? Hi, it's Brain Bites with me, Dr. B. I'm Jessica Bichkovsky, your friendly online psychiatrist. Let's dig in. Meet Mark. He's a 35-year-old marketing manager who started an SSRI for depression about three months ago. At first, he noticed a big improvement in his mood. His sadness and worry got a lot better. But recently, Mark said, I don't feel bad anymore, but I don't feel good either. Even when something great happens, like my son's soccer team wins a big game, I just, I don't feel it. Mark is experiencing emotional blunting, a subtle but pretty terrible side effect of some mental health medications. Let's explore what's happening in his brain, how to recognize the side effects and what you can do to help clients like him. So what is emotional blunting? This is experienced as a significant decrease in emotional intensity. Clients often describe it as feeling flat or numb or like they're on autopilot. It's not just related to sadness though, it can affect happiness, excitement, and even anger. For many clients, emotional blunting feels like an unfair trade-off. Their depression or anxiety improves, but they lose the ability to experience any highs or lows. Symptoms can include feeling emotionally detached from people they care about. There is usually a reduced ability to experience pleasure or joy, and often a sense of indifference, even in situations that used to cause strong feelings. So what's going on in the brain here? Emotional blunting is believed to be linked to a few different things. One is the broad effects of serotonin. SSRIs and SNRIs increase serotonin in the brain, which helps regulate mood. But serotonin doesn't discriminate. It may dampen both negative and positive emotions. Think of it as turning down the volume on all the feels, not just the ones causing problems. And then there's the frontal lobe involvement. Medications that affect serotonin can also influence activity in the prefrontal cortex, the area of the brain involved in emotional regulation and decision-making. Finally, there's disruption in the brain's reward system. By altering dopamine pathways indirectly, these medications may reduce the brain's ability to process rewards, leading to diminished feelings of pleasure and excitement. One of the biggest challenges is distinguishing emotional blunting from residual depression. So how can you tell the difference? Here are some key differences. Number one is timing. Emotional blunting often starts after a medication is started. There's a dose increase or even after the client becomes stable on a medication. The second way is by looking at the emotional range. People with emotional blunting will describe a lack or decrease of all emotions, whereas depression often amplifies the negatives like sadness, guilt, or hopelessness. And thirdly, the client's descriptions can speak to this directly. Listen for phrases like, I don't feel anything. I feel numb. I'm not myself. I feel like a robot. Mark's case is classic emotional blunting. While his depression and anxiety symptoms have improved, he's lost the ability to feel joy or connection. This isn't a sign of treatment failure. It's a common side effect of SSRIs. And as his therapist, you're in a perfect position to help him address it. So what can you do for someone struggling with emotional blunting? Start by validating the experience. Clients like Mark might feel confused or even guilty about feeling flat because their depression has improved. Normalize this by explaining, emotional blunting is a known side effect of your medication. It's not your fault and there are ways to address it. Help clients articulate their experience by using prompts like, how have your emotions changed since starting this medication? How is your ability to feel excited or connected right now? These conversations can help your client in discussions with their prescriber, or you could collaborate with their prescriber. Discuss medication adjustments with the prescriber. Options might include lowering the dose to minimize blunting, or switching medications, like going from an SSRI to Wellbutrin or Bupropion, which is less likely to cause emotional blunting or even combining medications to balance side effects with the benefits. 
Finally, encourage some reconnection strategies. Help your clients find ways to reconnect with emotions through mindfulness, journaling, or activities that previously brought them joy. Suggest practices like gratitude journaling to focus on small, positive moments. Emotional blunting can be subtle, but cause significant impact on someone's quality of life. As a therapist, you have a vital role in helping clients like Mark recognize the side effect, validate their experience, and take steps to address it. With the right treatment plan and medication strategy, they can regain a normal range of emotions without falling back into depression or anxiety. I hope your brain is full of emotional blunting combat strategies. No numbness required. Be sure to grab more tasty tidbits at brainbiteswithdrb.com. Enjoy.